Okay, so accommodation at Pembroke. Most of our accommodation is in college, on site, where everything is. But we do have some student houses which are a little bit further out. Some of them are just down the road and some of them are sort of a 10 minute cycle away. And they tend to be lived in by second, third years and above who want to live a little bit outside of college or are humanities students like me and they want to live closer to their lectures. Now, all freshers, all first years will live in college in their first year. But there's a bit of a range about where you could be living. And your basic choice is between the sort of new modern part of college in Founders Block um, or the older, more sort of quaint Cambridgey kind of rooms, which is the rest of the college. One good thing about Pembroke accommodation is a couple of years ago, KUSU, which is our student union, did a survey to do with rent and accommodation. And Pembroke had some of the cheapest average rent and some of the highest satisfaction. So if that doesn't persuade you, I don't know what will. Pembroke offers accommodation to students for the duration of their courses. So in first year, everyone lives on the main college site and you get emailed before you arrive so that you can choose whether you'd prefer to live in the older or newer style accommodation and roughly how much rent you're comfortable paying. Then for second year, we have a room ballot and you ballot in groups of up to four people and that determines the order that you pick your rooms in for that year. Then for third year, the room ballot is reversed. So the people that were at the bottom get moved to the top and then again, they can choose whether they'd like to live on the main site or in the Pembroke owned accommodation nearby. First year, all first years live within the college itself, so everyone gets to meet everyone. And because you don't know the place as well, you instead put preferences and the college will choose the accommodation which it thinks is best suited to what you've asked for. I am a first year student, which means that I lived in college. I lived in Orchard Building and I shared a toilet with two people and then there were eight showers between 20 people, which doesn't seem a lot, but it actually is. And I've never had to wait for a shower to be free. I lived in college in my first year and we had seven people sharing two bathrooms. So three to four people per bathroom. I think that's typical within the college. I now live in a student owned house with a few people where it's again a similar kind of ratio. You are able to stay in the college uh, during the holidays. If you're within the college itself, you might be allocated to somewhere other than your normal room, but people do choose to do that for work or for travel reasons sometimes. I've never felt the need to, but the option is there. 